Brellas are well known for rapid weight and they reach a market size within 6 to 8 weeks. Despite this attribute, some farmers still leave their brellas for 12 weeks and even 16 to 24 weeks with two major reasons. For this reason, I decided to raise two sets of brellas, one for 8 weeks and another over 20 weeks. On this video, I'm going to tell you the best result and which is more profitable. Since the purpose of every businessman is to make profit, I'm also going to give you my earnest opinion on which one you should embark on. What's up my people? Welcome to Life of a Farmer Loaf. You can also follow me on my Facebook page at Life of a Farmer Loaf for regular updates. I remain your anchor Ishokri of Okironye. You can call me Ovorans. On this channel, we discuss farming in details, how to grow your farm and challenges you encounter and how to solve them. Do well to subscribe and turn on the bell icon so you don't miss subsequent upload. Also give this video a like, comment and share for others to benefit. Without wasting your time, let's dive into the main cocoa. Brellas, like I earlier said, are rapid growing beds that attain maturity within 6 to 8 weeks. But most people or farmers are of the opinion of leaving theirs for over 16 weeks on the opinion that they will sell at a very high price, especially during festive periods. Based on this, I decided to try an experiment to know the profit margin if it's worth venturing into. We all know that the purpose of every business is to make profit and not for charity. What actually happened is that we have some leftover brellas that are the last batch after sales and there are about 76 left out of 500 broilers. These beds didn't grow as expected like others and not that they are bad but they are just the last badge. So we decided to leave them and eventually we left them for Xmas market and by calculation they exceeded 24 weeks because the laying beds which they came together with are laying already before the Xmas. By and large they were 25 weeks by Xmas. Because of my intentions, I decided to take note of cost of drugs, vaccinations and feed for this period, which I will reveal shortly. On the other hand, we have 100 brellas which are targeted to be 8 weeks by Xmas and these two sets of beds were given same feed type. By the time the 76 brellas got to 11 weeks, I made changes to their feed. They were consuming almost one bag of finisher and I decided to give them grower mash. Even with the grower mash, they were eating almost a bag when there is light at night. I did a rough calculation and in 10 days, they will consume almost 10 bags. Looking at the increasing cost of feed, there was no way we will make profit from it and I decided to introduce the skip a day diet for them. Meanwhile, the 100 beds for 8 weeks are doing just fine because we already have the feed that they will consume for the period of 8 weeks. In my subsequent video, I will upload my observation for raising brellas to exceed 8 weeks. By week 18, these beds were consuming far more feed and I did a rough calculation and if I'm to continue, there is no way customers will buy one brella for 25 to 30,000 naira. This prompted me to take another step towards reducing the feed. Though they were doing fine, but I wasn't impressed because within me, I know I'm running at loss but I want to get to the end before concluding. When it was about 3 weeks to Xmas, that is they were 21 weeks old, I started giving finisher feed. After 2 weeks of consuming about 10 bags of finisher, they were adding weight but this could not be compared to the 100 beds that were already 6 weeks old. Though the 76 beds were big and tall as I would describe them, but the 6 weeks tend to have more muzzle which other people will refer to as meat or flesh than the 76 that are already 23 weeks old. Now, the next stage is the final stage at week 25 versus week 8. There was no comparison between the two beds looking at the cost of feed used and feed consumed compared to the market value and return on investment. In the cost of this experiment, cost of feed was increased three times, but I didn't reflect it in my cost of production because all feed have already been paid and supplied to the farm. That was a big boost. My conclusion and honest opinion which is the last stage is this. Honestly, maybe I didn't get it right or maybe the feeding, the feeding wasn't calculated properly by me. At the point of sale, 
at the market while the eight weeks was sold for a range of 12,000 to 15,000 naira per bed same amount was being priced for the 25 weeks old only about four were sold for 20,000 naira and three were sold for 18,000 naira all others were sold for same price as 12 to 15,000 naira range by the end of the day i couldn't realize profit from the 25 weeks old brellas as all the money went for feed and drugs and about nine we are lost due to some unforeseen challenges. If I had not manipulated the feed and I decided to feed them as they eat, I'm 100% sure that it would have been 100% loss of capital. Whereas the 100 boilers of 8 weeks were sold and roughly 3,000 to 6,000 were realized per bed for a period of 8 weeks. My question now is if farmers do their calculation of money they spent on feed and medication for brellas older than eight weeks i'm very sure they won't venture into such because two things are involved one it is either they are recycling their money without making any profit or they are running at loss unknown to them but i have a question for you do you raise brellas above eight weeks if yes drop your comment and let us know how you are able to make profit from them because it's not worth it from my own experience please subscribe like comment and share for others to benefit thanks and god bless see you in my next video peace out